Hey YouTube, this is the Robin Hood Investor. Hope you had a great day of trading. As always, I really appreciate your support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about investing, subscribe to this channel. Today I'm going to talk about Apple's Q4 iPhone shipments in China falling 20% year over year, according to research firm's IDC's report. Before I do so, let's take a look at performance. Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. Past week, down 2.01%. Past month, up 12.28%. Past three months, down 11.61%. Past year, up 6.86%. And past five years, up 128.6%. As you can see, it, it started dipping since October, early October. And at the, the lowest point was about 140. And then it it went back up. So scroll down a little bit, take a look at the statistics. Current price is $169.38. 52-week high, $233.47. 52-week low, $142. So within the 52-week range, it's more on the lower end. And market capitalization, $806 billion. P ratio is 13.94, which is really low relative to the market average. And dividend yield is 1.2. So looking at the, the news, as I mentioned, Apple's Q4 iPhone shipments down 20% in China. That's year over year. And this is based on the, the new IDC, IDC report. IDC being a, a research firm. So overall, Chinese smartphone market dropped 9.7% in the quarter. So it's not just Apple facing the this headwind, it's across the smartphone market. Uh, Xiaomi being one of the competitors, shipments fell nearly 35% in a period defined by consumers buckling higher smartphone prices, a slowing economy, and U.S. trade tension. So these different factors are driving the the dip in the smartphone market. Huawei being the, the leader was among the three vendors with Oppo and Vivo that achieved year over year growth in China, up 23.3% in a surge of national loyalty after Western legal pressure. So, um, the, so Huawei, Oppo and Vivo being the, the top three in China. Um, they, they all, they all, uh, grew year over year and this is because of the tensions between US and China that uh, the Chinese citizens are uh, focusing more on the their national brand the Chinese brands so um, not uh, brands like Apple or Samsung but um, their own Chinese brands so let's, let's take a look, look at the IDC report so iPhone's high price tag is a major reason for the contraction and as I mentioned Huawei cements number one position with strongest growth Let's taking a look at the the chart, as you can see, Huawei being number one. So, uh, just to preface this, the black, the legend, the black bars are the market share in China, and then the orange bars are year-on-year -year change in smartphone shipments in China. So, Huawei has 29% market share in China. Oppo has 19.6% in China. Vivo having 18.8% in China, and Apple being in fourth place has 11.5%. And there's another chart down here looking at the revenue driver. So Apple's services business pulled in a record $10.9 billion in latest fiscal quarter. So I can see, as you can see, it's very steady growth quarter after quarter.
So hopefully this can uh, drive Apple's growth and valuation. Now let's look at the analyst ratings. So 16 analysts give Apple a buy rating in the next three months. 19 analysts give a hold rating and zero analysts give it a sell rating with an overall rating of moderate buy. Taking a look at the, the price targets, Apple's price target is $176.80 per share with a 4.3% upside. And on the low end, it's $140 per share. And on the high end, $245 per share. And this is the next 12 months. That's all for this video. What are your thoughts on Apple? Comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.